Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing and doing a how to actually play true damage Lux mid with Shadow Flame Ludens Magic Pen Boots. It's basically a 52% raw true damage build mid, especially in the lower ranks. She's S plus tier. So, like usual, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took Arcane, Comet, Manifold Band, Absolute Focus Gathering Storm, Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter. Those are the rune stats there. And this lane, we're playing against Vax. Pretty medium difficulty matchup. I'm waiting for her E. Oh, she started Q. Okay. And yeah, typically, I mean, this is Mage versus Mage matchup. Is the sound on? Here it is. Um, as for how this should go, it's whoever lands the most skill shots, dodges the most of the other opponent, wins. And Vex started Corrupting Potion with Ignite, so she has the stronger early game. We can't win as of right now, but later on, we will be able to. We actually just want to play a lot more on the safer side of things. We try to cure through the minion. Since, as we all know, Lux's Q travels to two projectiles, or two targets, not just one. Gonna E her and E the wave, which is ideal. And that's really the Mage versus Mage matchup. It's dodge their skill shots, land yours. And as for back, I mean, since we have TP advantage, we just want to back with probably uh, 350. Put two points into my E here. Wait for her to go for a minion before I drop the E. Oh. Just like nice, so she wins. Because she walked in a weird way. Maybe she knew I was going to toss the E when she went for the minion. See if she goes for that. Got her. Oh, come on. Level up, level up, level up. Oh my god, you're so lucky. You are so lucky, Jesus. It's more worth for us since we have TP and she doesn't. Uh, kind of. Her wave is better than mine. But the fact that we beat her through Ignite is uh, pretty good. We flashed through her ability there. And it's Zag Jungle, so you'll probably be over the wall. As an mobile mage, you have to worry about uh, getting ganked at all times. Alright, let's auto that, auto that. We try to cue the minion and cue her. It's how, you, it's how you be tricky with Lux. You have to cue the minion. You know it passes through one. But yeah. And if possible, you want to cue, auto, E. Basically, just time auto attacks. Time auto attacks with your passive. Because you'll get extra enhanced damage if you're able to. Auto one more time. And just like that, we wouldn't be able to get the kill unless we utilized our... Uh, what's it called? Are passive because every time you land an ability your Q E or R it leaves an extra on hit mark on top of them and we're gonna wait for him to E we're gonna wait for him to e. okay. okay if he used E then we would Q so that way he can uh, leap to us but he just wanted to collect the wave mid <laughs> tier 2 boots rush isn't even bad I will right, we'll just go that hmm nah Tier 2 boots isn't bad. Reason being is she's a mage. Or Vex is in a way. She is a mage. And having just extra movement speed will help dodge her abilities, position better. And I mean the extra magic penetration will uh, add some more burst. So we'll take it. Lux is one of those champs. I mean... Yeah, she's actually pretty... In most people's eyes, pretty easy to play. She's like the... She's like, the best words to describe her is simple yet effective. Because it's like, she's not bad. We're just going to try to get an E here. We have R and she doesn't. So we want to look for the fight. Every time you have level advantage. Not the cannon. R.I.P. Every time you have level advantage, you always want to look for fights. And yep, yep, yep. We look for the shove here.
Gonna get that, look for the reset. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we can go only get Amphitome. We could probably just sit on one potion if we position correctly. And yeah, our R, 54 second cooldown with zero ability haste at level one. Wow, we can actually use it for poke. 50%? It's more like 40 to 50% ability haste. That'll literally be, what, like a 30 second ulti? Alright, that's bad. That's bad. That is bad. I'm gonna drop the E on her. We're prioritizing e ing her over the minions. Since the better the trades you take, the more control you have over the lane. He hits us with the E. That's pretty good. We're gonna deny her the cannon here. And actually... Damn. It's close. We need deep wards for Zack. We have no abilities up here. And just like that, we turn it on her. She's the one with Ignite. If she lands for R, she has that assassin-like damage. But because we have level and item lead, we're able to do that. Live her burst and dish out more. More auto there. We're going to leave the wave like this. We're really pushing it. We're leaving the wave like this because her wave, it's going to eventually slow push back to her. But her wave is going to kill my wave and we're going to lose less minions. As long as that minion doesn't crash under tower. I ah, forget it. We'll get lost chapter. Boots here or potions especially. Yeah, she's going to crash it eventually. Rengar can take the minions. If we position well enough, we won't need to pop any potions. But ideally, you want to come to lane with potions. At least for the first 10 minutes of the game, where they matter most. She has no flash, no? There we go. Oh, Zack, Zack, Zack. Or, what about Zack? Oh, she sidestepped. All right. Nice one, Rengar. Now oh, we got our flash. Oh, Zack is top river. I want to look for the flash cube. It's worth because we get a red buff. And she's worth gold since we just... Uh, she got a solo kill on Rengar. I think Zack probably just recalled... Red buff will give us mana regen. See? Just like that, we get a ward where we think Zack is. And now we want to push our lead forward. Is Zack going to come here? Took all his raptors in your face. Get him! I'm going to toss the W to you. You got it. There you go. And with basic jungle tracking and vision warding. Equals kills. I think Trinomir hard wins. It's a Yasuo. Who's fed? Their bot lane? Okay. What does she have? She has tier 2 boots, so landing our skill shots is harder, so that's good. Good for her, I mean. Gonna toss the E where I think she's gonna run for some simple poke. Try to look for one more kill here before I look for the reset. Yep. When Lux gets some haste, gets some mana, it's very hard to stop her with the amount of abilities. She ends up throwing. If you have damage, what she ends up doing is having a way to stop that. Oh, she, Zach thought I recalled. Uh, I'll just go Ludens into Shadow Flame. Are they trying to place Rift? They are. Aw. Yeah. 
Sad. Arcane Comets, can you not get him? Sad times, sad times. But yeah, they got Rift and then some minions mid. I want solo. Oh my god, I had to share the gold with Caitlyn. I want the solo platings. Basically, Lux and a true damage build. Solid. It's either Yugo Horizons focus or Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame is good if they have shielding, of course, which Vax Yasuo. What is it? I mean, yeah, it's enough shielding alone, but. It's just all around good, right? Yasuo is mid. I know he wants the Q my Q or W my Q. So we had to wait for his Q to go away. Or I mean his W, his wind wall. For him to use it on my E. And then we could look for the all in. Gonna take mid tower. My recording. I am. Alright. Uh Honestly, Magi's is pretty solid again. But Ah. Shadow Flame will add to our true damage type build because look, what is this? Six magic penetration plus the extra five we're gonna get from building Shadow Flame from its unique passive. And you get up to an extra twenty here, that's and then an extra eighteen here, that's gonna be like fifty. Oh no. That's where they try to get me. I have to kite back. Nice one, Morgana. Good job. True damage Lux. Very much so good. We're gonna see if we can get a snipe. Okay. Uh Cloud Dragon. It's passive, gives a little bit too much movement speed at river. And I mean, basically, after you take your mid tower, oh, we got uh, the enchanted teleport, whatever it's called. After you take mid tower, you want to rotate towards taking jungle camps. The enemy jungle camps and then just outer towers. We already took all outer towers as soon as Botlane takes theirs. And then now we just want to rotate towards taking all their resources. We have enough for Shadow Flame too. So thumbs up. Good stuff, good stuff. I'll just recall. Unless the Krug stops me and then which I will take this. I will take this and reset. And then we just want to stack objectives, grouping for everyone. We don't want to give them objective bounty, that's for sure. So basically how to play team fights on Lux, it's you want to stand behind everyone. Your tanks, your bruisers, Trinomir, Rengar, you want to stand behind them. Reason being, you don't want to get focused within fights. You want to deal your damage from far away distances. Is that Rengar R? Okay, not Rengar R. We can actually just use our R for poke if I'm being honest. At this point, with a 30 second cooldown. Okay, too, too, too obvious. It's 30 seconds again, so... Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world if we miss. Because if we land our art, Vex has to recall. You never want to hold on to your abilities for too long. Oh, there he is. He's at red. Oh man, it's because ah, we're chilling. It's because he gets too much movement speed from this clown, uh, the cloud dragons. You know what I'm talking about. This movement speed thing makes it hard to land my skill shots, which is a pain. I'm here. Know it. Get him. 
Oh, I got I actually got hit by that? Damn, that hitbox. Kind of absurd. Oh, Vex is here too. That's not good. And we are exactly where he is. He just has a lot of mobility, so it's annoying. But yeah, we're able to win 1v1. That's what you want to do when you have a lead. Take all their jungle, all their resources. That way they can never come back into the game. Oh, we almost have enough for Magi's. R has 100 mana. Actually, we'll take this top tower and then get it. It's the perk of having a 35 second ulti with 20 haste. Wow, that's such a low cooldown. Alright, now we get Magi's. Zonia's is a thing you can get, but it's like at the same time, if you're positioning correctly, kind of like Zerath, you don't really need it. It's nice, but unless it's like a Rengar, a Fizz, someone to get guaranteed damage. Yep, true damage. It's that true damage Lux. Farmed up and scaled it into the game. It's the type of stuff you can do mid game. Got one. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Morgana! Eat me! Save me! Let's go. We kite back with the team. Clean them all up and we keep our Magi stacks. Again, that's why you want to be standing behind Yasuo, Trindamir, Rengar. Because you don't want to get hit by direct skill shots like the Vex. We might get ultied by Velkos, but I'm going to take this 1v1. You know why? That's why. Your W tanks up the majority of their damage. If you're ahead, at least. Some of their damage to keep you alive. And then all you need is to land your E and Q. Or QE slash just your Q and then ulti. With true damage Lux... Your ults, yeah, it's quite nuclear. 880 damage. It's quite hard to live, if I'm being honest. But you have to be farmed up well. And not die as much in the early game. Ay, ay, ay. Yep, Vex is sure S tier for a reason. It's because she's so anti engage. So we can path around here. Look for her. I need someone to slow. Someone to slow the Vex. Bam. Just like that. One R. It's all in your ulti. I'm telling you. The nuclear ultimate. Just like that. QE. Because to be fair. Bot lane is going to be very under leveled. Compared to you. Oh my god, so much damage. Bot lane's gonna be very under leveled compared to you because you, you know, mid lane's a solo lane compared to their shared XP. And if you land a Q, it's basically one kill. You also can't ult your R, by the way. That's why we're able to go for it. And just like that, true damage locks what it's all about oh she got too much movement speed from base kite back kite back okay you got my shutdown ay yeah yeah there goes my med ice not cool but I mean I guess that is an overstay I'm dead. I need my uh Oh, 
Um, I'm a TP bot. And basically, I'm gonna get blue ward. Because basically... Oh my god. <laughs> Man, I'm still chewing on the Tootsie Fruit. But basically, you want a blue ward at a really far away distance, and that'll give you the sight to land your ulti. But now we're just using bot tower. You never want to AFK group in the lane that you already took all your all the objectives in. See if we can land an R. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the true damage, man. The true damage vex. Oh man, she didn't walk back towards base. What an odd way of dodging. Well played. We got a E onto Yasuo. There we go. And just like that, I think that should be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Let's see if we can find someone to ulti there. <laughs> All right, that's how to Lux mid with the true damage build in season 12. Are you serious? I'm out.